Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Classic Leet Reviews. My name is Tony from the ClassicLeet.com Retro and Modern Gaming and Electronic Podcast. Today I'm reviewing the game Deadlock Online from the very hot Crescent Moon Games. They've released several very big iPhone, iPad, um, iOS device titles and I'm really excited to be reviewing Deadlock Online for them. When you jump into the men main menu of this game you're going to see a several different options. You're going to see a play online, play offline, an armory, and a how to play. Now the how to play is a six page slide template which allows you to just learn a quick overview of how to play the game. What this game really is at its heart is a dual stick online shooter. So it's really based around the online experience. So unless you have 3G or Wi-Fi, you're probably not going to want to pick this game up. Another cool feature of the game right on the main menu is that you can earn unlock points by sharing this game with friends. So you can share it with a Facebook or Twitter post, you can email a friend or text a friend, and you'll have a unique share code. If they enter your share code after they purchase the game, you get two free unlock points. Unlock points are kind of like the game's currency. If you want to upgrade your character, if you want to get more armor, uh, weapons, different types of grenades and things like that, you're going to want unlock points. And really the game has an incredible amount of ways to upgrade your character. You have several different guns to choose from, from rifles, SMGs, LMGSs, shotguns, pistols, and then multiple types of each. In addition, you have multiple armor to choose from. You have attachments for your weapons. You have multiple grenades to choose from. So you're definitely going to want unlock points. The problem is, is the game doesn't really allow you to get many unlock points just by playing it. They kind of try to push you towards an in-app purchase thing. But really, persistence is key. And so I keep playing the game, I keep getting more free unlock points, and I keep getting the weapons and armor I want. Of course, if you want to, you can buy multiple levels of unlock points in at purchases, but you really don't have to to enjoy this game. So that is part of it. That's just kind of the market we live in. A lot of people are doing in at purchases. Going to the other modes, play offline. Really, you can't level up your character at all. It just allows you to practice. And so there is a bot match, which is kind of cool. You can choose from one of the three game types. You can choose from one of the five maps, and you can fight up to seven other bots, which is a really cool way to practice and get better at the game. There's also a survival mode, which is your typical dual stick shooter, surviving multiple waves of enemies, seeing how many enemies you can kill, um, before you're dead. So it's kind of cool to have those two offline modes, but like I said, this game is based around the online experience. In the online menu, you're going to have a quick play, which will just jump you right into a game. There's really no way to um, customize the look of your character. There's a, just a bunch of preset characters, and so if you tap on the characters, you'll just see all the different presets, and you just kind of choose them and play with whatever character you want that way. You can host a game by doing a custom game, and it's really cool because you can just create a game and let people join it. Um, you can choose the amount of players from six, four, or eight. You can choose one of the five maps, and then you can choose one of the three game types, which is deathmatch, team deathmatch, and then there's like a capture and hold type mode, which is like a king of the hill with three different flags. And so I'm really hoping they add more content in the future, but right now it's really just a lot of fun. I have to admit this game is just fun, even with the minimal maps and content, because there's a lot to unlock and just a lot to uh, lot to get to. So what, you can either host a game, you can also host and create tournaments, which is really neat. And so just being able to do some of those things is really awesome in this game. And basically... You're, you're just playing a dual stick shooter against other live opponents. That's what Deadlock Online is. And uh, if you get really frustrated easily with multiplayer games with accuracy and things like that, there are a few glitches. Occasionally you'll get kicked out of a game, but most of the time I found this was a really enjoyable experience. It's fun just to be playing competitive deathmatch and team deathmatch and, and king of the hill type modes on your iPad or iPhone. And it's just a really cool experience. I think this game's going to keep people busy for a time to come. I never had trouble picking up a game on the online portion and it's really neat how they've kind of adapted what we would take to be great multiplayer in a shooter game like with a Call of Duty or a Halo and they put that into the game. You have statistics, you have deaths, the amount of deaths your character has over time, the amount of wins, the amount of kills and they and you also level up your character as well. So it's really neat they put all those features into this 
basic concept dual stick shooter and they've taken it online and they really did a good job with it. I highly want to recommend this game to uh, fans of competitive multiplayer uh, shooters out there. I really think Crescent Moon did a good job with it. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a lot of fun, and I'm really having trouble putting it down because it's just a quick way to pick up on the go online multiplayer deathmatch and have a good time. Pick this one up today.